Hey guys, it's Jess here from Crown Virtual Assistant, and today I'll be showing you how to use Mini Tool Movie Maker, which allows you to edit and create videos in minutes. It's very user friendly and simple to use, and best of all, it's free. So once downloaded and you open it up, it will look like this. I will go to new project. So you will go to import media files and you'll find the folder where your media is located. So for this example, I'll be using all of these files. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be I'm going to be selecting all of these files so that they are in the program. Now first thing I'm going to want to add to a video is a title. So I will be going over here to text and I will be going down here to all of these titles over here and I'll just pick one of my liking. If you just hover over it, it will show you an example of what it would look like. And I'm just going to click the plus button and it will add it down here. And then I'll be editing the text over here. And I'll just click play just to see a preview. You can also change the font and also the color and the size. Next, I will be going back to my media to import the videos. And this is the video I would want first. So I will press the plus sign and add it. And here is the video. And now I can also mute the original sound that it has. And I could also shorten the video. So this video itself is 31.6 seconds. I'm just going to shorten it out for you. So I'm going to shorten it out to be about 15 seconds long. Next, I will be adding the other video. Now this video is only 8 seconds long. Now this one is quite long, it is 2 minutes long. So what I can do here, if I wanted to cut out part of the video, I would go to any part of it that I want to cut out. I would press the scissors button over here, and it would split the video into two. I can do it one more time if I wanted to, let's say, cut out this portion of the video. I would also split that again with the scissors and now it's isolated here and now you can just right click and delete that part of the video. 
but altogether I do want to make the video shorter so I'm going to delete this end of the video too and now the video is only a minute and 18 seconds as opposed to two minutes now the last video I want to add will be this one and this is the one that I want for the very end So this is what the video looks like from the very beginning. As you can see, it's missing that smooth transition from video to video. So I'm going to show you how to add the transitions. So you will go over here to transition and they have quite a few that you can choose from. So I'm going to be clicking this dreamy zoom and basically I'm going to just left click and drag it all the way down here and drop it down there. This way I have a smooth transition from scene to scene. I'll be adding different transitions in between here just to show you guys what it looks like. Great, and now there's one more transition right at the very end over here. And that's it for transitions. So now I'm going to be adding an outro over here. So I'm going to go back to text. And it will be one of the credits. Oops, I'm just trying to put the credits at the very end. There we go. And now I'm going to be editing this.
I'm changing the font. And on the very end, it looks like this. Actually, I will add one more transition at the very end. Right here. And so now the end looks like this. Here we go. And now the last thing I will show you is how to add subtitles. So I'll just click on a clip right here. So I'll be clicking on my video over here and I will be going over to text and there's many captions that you can choose from. So like I said, if you hover over them, I'll show you an example of what they would look like. So this is coming in from the right. This is dropping down from the top. And this is written at the bottom. This one is sliding in. I'll be adding this one a little further down the video, not at the very beginning. And then I'll be pressing the plus sign over here. And the, and the caption should be four seconds long. Or you can also shorten it if you want it to be faster. So I shortened it from, two, from four seconds to 2.7 seconds. And change the font to anything really. I can even change the color. Doing a doing a purple for this. And I can even change the size over here, so I'll be enlarging it. Didn't click it properly. There we go, and I just press OK. And now to play the clip, it will show the caption. I'll add another caption here. And you press the plus sign. Now I'm going to move it a little further down the video. I don't want it at the beginning. I'll leave this one to be four seconds long. And you just click here to edit it. You can also drag this to any anywhere on the scene that you would want it. So I would want it at the bottom of the scene. So I'm going to put it right in the center over here. And press OK. And now this is what 
it would look like. I'm going to be adding a few more captions. I'll be using this one further down the video. So now this is what it looks like with all the captions all together. For my last scene, I'd like to credit Pexels.com and their generous contributors for the free stock videos that I used in creating this video. So please go check them out at Pexels.com. Now the very last thing that I could actually do is add music. So I'll be going over to media. I have already imported the song that I wanted, which is New Order, Bizarre Love. And I'll just be going to the very beginning. And I will just be clicking on it and pressing the plus sign. And this is what the video will look like completely from the beginning to the very end, including the music.
So that's what it looks like from beginning to the very end, including the music. So I do recommend you save your file periodically throughout making your video. So you go over here and you go to file and then you would just save project as. And once you save it, you create a title for it and know the location where you want to save it to usually this doesn't happen but i don't know why it's happening right now oh there we go okay we got it so name your file and as you can see it's going to save as a project file so only this program will be able to open up your project and you will be able to work on it again and just go to save and just remember where you're also placing it. So I'm going to be placing it in my mini tools um, YouTube video folder that I created specifically for this video in my documents. And there it is. I'm just going to go to save. And the very last part is exporting it. So saving it does not mean you're putting it all together and ready to upload on YouTube. You have to go to export over here. And like I said, name your file again. So format, you can either choose MP4 or there's different options, AVI. I'm going to be choosing MOV. And you decide where you want to have your your um, project saved to and also the resolution it tells you the duration and also tells you how big your file is so I'm going to be clicking export and now this can take a few minutes depending on how big your video is And there you go, so the total time it took about a minute and 35 seconds to fully export my video. And that's it. And you can just find target. And it'll show you exactly where your video is. And you can play it from here.